What's up guys, it's your boy, the man, the myth, the legend, Pick Droppers, back at it again with a Fortnite Battle Royale video. Now in this video, I'm going to be going over what is wrong with Epic Games' new game mode, Solo Showdown, and why essentially it failed. Uh, and then I'm going to go over ways that Epic, ga Epic Games can improve uh, on this game mode and eventually make it better. Uh, and so the first problem is uh, that I've noticed is everyone goes to the edge of the map uh, when the first circle uh, or before the first circle is even made. Everyone goes to the edge. That's your junk junctions, your moisty mires, your flush factories, and then I guess your risky reels. And the reason everyone goes on the edge part of the map is because uh, there's the least amount of action. Uh, and uh, the reason why people don't want to fight anybody is because kills don't matter. And I'm going to go over why that's a big problem. And yeah, so everyone just goes to the edge of the map. Uh, you don't really see many people on the edge of the map. And it's a really slow game. And Epic Games really likes uh, when people are fighting and there's a lot of action. And so uh, this is definitely not very, uh, not a very good look on them. On their part uh, and then another problem that is wrong with this game mode is everyone sits in one by ones uh, you'll notice in fighting uh, you're gonna be going up against the guy who's in a one by one uh, you're also gonna notice that uh, when you're fighting someone else you're probably getting shot by a third guy in a one by one and the reason why people are in one by ones it's because they feel safest up there they have the high ground they have walls to protect themselves and so it's not like uh, they're, they have a very good chance of dying, and so you're not seeing much action, and it really makes the game uh, feel very long and very slow. Uh, another uh, problem is everyone stays on the edge of the circle, uh, and uh, you'll notice once the first circle forms uh, that everyone's going to be on the edge, and then the second circle, everyone stays on the edge, because once you're in the center of the circle, you're basically a target for everybody, and it's easy for you to get killed. So everybody just stays on the edge, so they have the least likely chance of being uh, put into a, like a sandwich and uh, put in between a couple of players because uh, that increases your chances of dying. So everyone basically just stays on the edge of the circle and uh, makes fighting very uh, unlikely. Uh, and then the biggest problem I feel like uh, with this game mode is that kills do not matter at all. Uh, and the reason why kills don't matter is because your score is based off of placement. And uh, that's just not good because in uh, skill-based games, you're going to want to see who uh, is the best fighter, not who's the best hider. Uh, and it's going to make... Uh, the winners are probably not going to be very good players. They're just going to be very good hiders, and uh, that's just not very good. Uh, another problem, and this is more of a problem with Fortnite overall that I've had, is that the circle is too RNG. I feel like the circle is what wins people games, and I felt that uh, for a long time. And you'll hear a solution to that once I go over the solutions, but I do feel like circle RNG is just way too much. And I know you have to have some RNG. Uh, Fortnite, basically, the whole game is RNG. Uh, but I feel like the more you can limit the RNG, the more skill uh, this game uh, becomes and this whole game mode. And I feel like the skill, more skilled players will uh, show, and I feel like that's definitely a good thing. Uh, another uh, thing that I have... Uh, that I feel like is a problem not just with the limited solo showdown mode uh, but with Fortnite overall is there's not enough materials. Uh, at the start of Fortnite, uh, having 200 material was more than enough. But now it's just, it's it's not enough. You need a lot of material. You need a, at least a thousand material, especially with all the build fights you get in. Once you get into a build fight, if someone else chases or starts coming to you, you've already wasted a thousand material on one dude. The other dude that's coming into the fight probably has max material or something like that. And then you gotta fight him and you're already losing in the material department. And people are really getting into build fights now. And uh, there's nothing that's uh, more fun in Fortnite than getting in a really good build fight. Uh, that's probably the most fun part about Fortnite. And 
Uh, that's what separates it from every other Battle Royale game, the fact that you can build. And I do not like that Epic Games limits you with that. I feel like everybody likes double material. I don't like that I have to run around the whole game just hitting trees uh, for 90% of the game. It's just not fun. I don't want to be hitting trees, hitting mr bricks, and doing stuff like that. That's just not fun, and I feel like uh, there's just not enough material. Uh, now, another problem with this game mode is I feel like there's not enough minis. Uh, I feel like they need to have a lot of minis everywhere. Uh, I feel like minis should be maximized because there's nothing wrong with having everybody have 150 HP. It makes games uh, much more fun. You're not going to be able to be body shot uh, by a sniper. Uh, it really brings out the skill in players because going up against a guy who has 200 HP because he's been hiding the whole game and hasn't been in a fight... Uh, is not fair for someone who only has 100 HP because they've been going into fights the whole game and they can't find any shield. Uh, I don't feel like that's fun, and I feel like having a lot of minis would definitely increase fighting, uh, but it also uh, increased uh, the fun in the game mode, because that's really what it's all about. But Because you're not going to see a guy fight with 100 HP, but a lot of people will take on fights if they have 150 HP. That's just a little bit of difference. Uh, and it can change uh, who wins and loses the fight. Uh, and I feel like that's a necessary change. Uh, and then another problem is four days is not enough for 50 games. And uh, I just feel like you don't have enough time to play uh, 50 games. Uh, unless you're like a streamer or a really hardcore player. I feel like they should have made it four days and maybe 30 or 40 games. Now, I understand they want to really... Uh, they want the hardcore players to get the prizes and stuff like that. But I feel like uh, they should uh, also want... They're, they're, what they want to do, they want to get the best players to win. They, that's what they want. They want the best players to reap all the rewards. And what you're really doing is you're giving the rewards to the streamers and the people who have enough time to play the whole game. Not necessarily the best players. So I feel like uh, four uh, days to play 50 games is just not enough time. Uh, now, another problem... Uh, that I have seen is there's not enough winners. Uh, not enough people are getting prizes. It's just top 100. And uh, there's not even enough incentive to play this game mode. You get a spray if you play 50 games. Uh, that's just... Uh, I don't feel like that's a really good incentive. And I feel like there's not enough winners for someone to really want to play this mode. And you really want to see who the best is. And you want people to play this game mode. You want people... Because they're trying to figure out what they're going to do with their competitive scene. And if you're not getting all the best players, you're not going to really know what you want for the competitive scene. Uh, and then last problem I've seen with this is that I don't know my score and I don't know how many matches I've played uh, until i finished and I get the spray. That's when I find out, after I play 50 matches. But I don't know how many I have unless I'm, like, counting. And I don't know my total score. And I feel like that's a big problem, uh, and I feel like they're going to need to fix that. Now, the solutions to all these problems, uh, I feel like, are pretty simple. And I feel like they definitely need to add them, especially once they add competitive play. Uh, now, the biggest one is the kill problem. People not going for kills. Getting a, getting a win with one kill should not be equal to getting a win with 15 kills. That doesn't make any sense. So a solution to this is make score multipliers based on kills. So let's say you get a win with 5 kills, your score multiplies by 1.5. If you get a win with 10 kills, it multiplies by 2. 15, 2.5, and so on, or something like that. Make uh, make win uh, your score important, your placement important, because Battle Royale is based off being the last one to survive. Uh, but make kills matter too. D do not make it like a snooze fest. So by making a kill multiplier, people will still try and get a very good placing, but they'll also try and go for kills. Uh, and I feel like that would definitely decrease the hiding in this game. Uh, another thing is, in all game modes... Double the mats. Uh, Epic Games wants to encourage fighting. And I don't want to be hitting trees all game, like I said, for wood. Or hitting bricks all game for uh, brick. That's just not fun. Uh, people build way more than they used to build. And material is getting wasted very fast. I understand that you shouldn't be building everywhere, just spam building. Because uh, that takes no skill. But I've been into a, a lot of really good fights. And I just die because I run out of material. Uh, and that really ruins my uh, fun that I had. 
because uh, I love getting into build fights. I feel like that's everybody's favorite part of the game, and so I don't like how uh, we are being limited by our materials. Now, uh, another problem that I have, uh, or another solution that I have that's going to be uh, in every single game mode is make the circle start really big just like they did uh in the thanos mode at the very end make the circle really big and then make it decrease faster uh make it get smaller and smaller faster but make the circles bigger than usual because that will make it so that the circle rng is not the reason why you die uh and i uh, also feel like the circle should not do that much uh damage because epic games doesn't want people to die uh, due to uh, the storm or due to fall damage. They just don't want people to just be staying in the storm the whole game and getting the victory, okay? That's what they, they want. That's what they do in all the uh, uh, Battle Royale games. And I feel like the storm damage, people do not want to be in the storm. That's obvious. And people, no one's really staying in the storm. But I feel like the storm does way too much damage. I feel like if I go to, uh, let's say if I'm in Salty, and I decide to head towards retail, and the first circle is on retail, and then it goes all the way uh, to Dusty Divot, and I'm all the way east of retail. Now I have to go all the way to the other side, and you're probably like, okay, that's not that hard. And then I have another team who doesn't understand how to play this game, and they just want to sit and wait uh, for the circle, to, the storm to start running, because they got three med kits and I don't. So I start to charge them, and they just play defensive the whole time. And I end up dying to the storm because of that. And there's another fix I have to that problem. But I feel like if the storm didn't do as much damage, I feel like they should uh, cut the damage in half. And I also feel like uh, they should make the storm circle very big at the start. And then uh, decrease the size, but make it faster so the games don't uh, take too long. Uh, make the games just the same length, but just decrease uh, or increase the circle size, and I feel like that would make a big difference. Uh, now, another uh, fix I have to that is add more launch pads. Everybody likes getting a launch pad, and there's nothing really negative about having so many launch pads. Now, I, uh, I understand, I guess there is something negative. People might try and run away from fights, but I feel like you're looking at the bad side instead of looking at the positive side, and the positive side is... Launch pads are able to bring people together that are very far away, and they increase fighting, which is always fun. And uh, having more launch pads, you're going to have more fights, more action. People are going to get uh, be able to get to other people faster. Uh, they're going to be able to go from the low ground to the high ground, even up the fight. And I feel like that could be big, and, and uh, you wouldn't die to the circle, really, uh, because you would have so many launch pads. And I feel like that would definitely make the game more interesting. Uh, now, another solution is obviously make minis more abundant. We already went over this a little bit. But if you make the minis uh, more abundant, people are going to increase... Uh, or the probability that people are going to fight is going to be increased. Uh, a lot of people are going to be fighting each other because they're going to have more HP and... Um, I know none of you guys want to get into fights when you have 75, 85, 95, anywhere below 105 HP, uh, because one, you're one shot by a bolt, uh, scars can easily take you out, any ARs, you're pretty much, uh, in a very bad position, so you're gonna be hiding a lot, and Epic Games doesn't want that, they want to see a lot of fighting. Uh, but I feel like it evens out the skill gap if someone has mini shields. And mini shields, what, in my opinion, was the best thing Epic Games brought, uh, to Fortnite Battle Royale. Because it really evened it out that, uh, instead of people going up against someone with 200 shield having 100 shield, it's 150 to 200 shield. And I feel like that's very important in fights, uh, especially with fall damage being very abundant. So people's health is going down, uh, because they're building really high up. And they need shields. And I feel like shields is definitely a big part of Fortnite. And I feel like when you're getting into fights with really good players, you want to even out the play field. You don't want people who have been hiding the whole game, who haven't gotten into any fights, to get the rewards uh, just because they decide to sit in a one-by-one -one after finding a chug jug or something. You want the people who have all the shields, 
to not get rewarded and the people who have been fighting the whole time to get rewarded by giving them mini shields uh, and then also by maybe adding more campfires so that their health can regenerate faster you know because you want to reward people who have fought and who have won because not everybody uh, has the shields and the minis and med kits and stuff like that uh, because they've been in so many fights they've had to use them and so I feel like increasing uh, the amount of minis in the game would definitely uh, increase uh, game activity between different teams and I definitely think that would be a good thing uh, now another solution I have is have a top 100 for each system uh, I went over how I don't feel like uh, enough people are getting rewarded and I really feel that I, they, Epic Games wants people to play the solo showdown so that they know what they're going to do for the competitive mode and I don't feel like I looked over um, the scoreboard uh, that Epic Games released, or the leaderboard, and a lot of the people I found were on Xbox or PS4. Uh, now, uh, there's many reasons I feel uh, like, or I, I feel like there's many reasons for that. I'm not going to go over that because uh, people will get mad at me, but I feel like there should be a top 100 for each system. Xbox, PS4, PC, and mobile should each have each have a top 100. And I feel like that would just be a very good thing, and uh, it wouldn't reward, uh, or it would reward people on each system. And it's not like Epic Games is really giving away money. They're giving away V-Bucks uh, to buy skins. It's not like V-Bucks really have any real-life currency. Now, you could argue you have to pay for them, uh, so you could sell your account that has V-Bucks, uh, but you can't trade V-Bucks or really sell them in-game without selling your account. Uh, so I feel like... Epic Games is being a little stingy here with the V-Bucks, and uh, I feel like Epic Games is almost never stingy. Their game's free, uh, and I think that's really good, and this event is free, uh, but I feel like if they really wanted to maximize the players, make the best players play, uh, they would increase the amount of uh, winners for each system. Uh, another thing that I glossed over a little bit was notify us of our total score and total matches played after each match. So each match we play, we get our score, we get our total matches, and then we keep on going. It's pretty simple. I feel like that would be a very good uh, very good thing that happened to this game. I think it would increase uh, people's uh, likelihood of wanting to keep playing games because if... I play like 40 games in a row, and I have no clue how many games I played. I might just stop, and I don't feel feel like that's very good. And then the last thing uh, that I feel like Epic Games can fix, and the solution for it, is if I play 50 games, I should get a skin or an emote, or maybe like 500 V-Bucks or something like that. Uh, not a spray that I will never use, because uh, no one's going to use the spray that you get. Uh, I feel like they want people to play. Give me a good reward. Give me uh, emotes or a singular emote, or give me a skin, not a stupid spray. No one's going to use a spray. Uh, it's very dumb that you get rewarded for playing, for playing 50 games. You get rewarded by getting one spray that you're not going to use. And I feel like that's the last thing they can add to make this uh, solo showdown way better, make this game mode fun, and uh, I feel like this game mode has definitely been a letdown for me, but I feel like there is things that... Could make it better if you guys disagree or agree let me know in the comments down below please like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and write a comment down below on what you would like to see next so boy pick droppers and i'm out peace